Hello, this is Julius from Basic Financials. Today I'd like to do a short video about interest. Um, now, there's various terms that you might hear with interest. Um, there's simple interest, compound interest, and sometimes you might hear something daily interest, um, or calculated daily. Um, now, with with it works both ways so you can have obviously you might have savings and you'll earn interest for you or you might have a loan um, and you're paying interest to someone else or the, or the interest is building up and you'll owe more um, now the uh, simple interest you don't often see uh, real examples of simple interest but this is how it works so imagine you've got um, a loan uh, of £10,000 and the agreement is that you'll pay interest at 5% per annum for three years and it will be simple interest and you're not going to have to pay anything back until right at the end which is a bit unusual but just for the sake of seeing what simple interest is um, now on that basis you've got this loan of £10,000 the interest at 5% would be £500. So uh, after one year, you would owe £10,500. Next time, next year, so the second year, you would still be calculating the 5% of the £10,000 by the amount of the loan. So after t the end of two years, you would uh, owe the £10,000 that you borrowed plus the £500 from the first year and the £500 from the second year. So altogether, you would be owing £11,000. Now, year three, you've probably guessed by now, £10,000 at 5%, another £500. Um, so at the end of the year three, when you've got to pay everything back, you owe £10,000, which is the original amount you borrowed, plus £1,500 in interest, which is three years at 5%. So that, that's simple interest. So you've paid back £11,500 on that £10,000 loan. Now, compound interest, that works slightly differently. Um, so at the year, uh, year one, uh, you would still owe that £500, so it would be £10,500. Uh, but with compound interest, five percent, you would now you would the five percent would be calculated on the ten thousand five hundred. Um, so you've you're going to be paying interest on the interest. So at the end of year two, you'd have the five hundred pounds plus another. £500 plus the interest on the £500 and the same for the end of the year three. So you're going to be paying interest on the interest at the rate of interest that you're that you're, you're on, so 5% in this case. Um, now for savings that's normally how you would how you would be having it because if you had a savings account of 5% per annum the interest is normally, not always, but you, you'd normally say you'd like to add it to the account. Um, that's the best way if, if you don't need the income because especially if you've got a good rate of interest because you are building up the compound interest and compound interest work brilliantly for savings um, over you can imagine over say if you, you've got a deposit of, of say ten thousand pounds and you just leave it there for, for 20 years that if one yeah times Five percent, so you'd have one point oh five times ten thousand next year. One point oh five again times one point oh five times one point oh five times one point oh five twenty times. It actually builds up quite a bit because of the effect of the interest on the interest. But that also works the other way. So if you've got a loan um, and it's building up like that, uh, that's, that might hurt a bit because uh, again you're paying interest on the interest. So um, that's a little bit about about that in about the compound and simple interest. Uh, when you hear something, when they say uh, this normally happens on a mortgage, um, if you hear them saying uh, interest is calculated daily, 
um, and its compound, uh, that won't mean that they calculate the interest for the day, add it to the loan, and then you owe interest on that on the loan plus that day's interest. So it's not going. That would really be nasty. Um, what they actually mean is uh, the the interest is worked out each day. So, for example, if you were to make a make a, a lump sum repayment on your mortgage, um, then they would that would be taken into account. I think that's normally the case now with mortgages, but there was uh, some time back that there was actually and possibly still um, you could have loans where it didn't make any difference if you paid a lump sum back during the year, you would still be paying interest on the amount outstanding at the beginning of the year. Um, so, yeah, that's not so good. So you really do want to make sure that um, you, you're being calculated on a daily basis. Um, I think we'll probably leave it at that. Um, if there's anything from that that uh, you need, would like me to explain more, um, just put some comments below. Um, like and subscribe as usual. And happy Christmas as well.